Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got pink jack-o'-lanterns with a little twist. <laughs> I've started with Danny Digit's Glitter Be Gone. It's now Baby Girl Lacquer. I'll be using Super Chick Lacquer, Swoon. I love these Super Chick Lacquers. And yes, that's how you pronounce it. For Super Chick, it's Super Chick. But for Sister Chic, it's Sister Chic. But this is Super Chick Lacquer. I love these polishes. Their formulas are amazing, and they just go on so smooth. You could totally get away with one coat. And all of them I've ever tried to stamp with, they stamp great too. Just beautiful polishes. Love, love, love them. So there we go. Gorgeous. I'll top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat like I normally do when I'm playing. I'm going to let this dry down and then we're going to get on to some other fun stuff. Capping that free edge there. There we go. That's just beautiful. I'm going to go in with some of these um, vinyl strips. They're just the stripey strips or whatever. I pulled a few off and put them on the cap of a uh, nail polish so that I can get them easy because I, I struggle with placing vinyls especially straight line ones <laughs> but these are really good and I'm not 100% sure where I got these um, what's up nails twinkle tea somebody I'll be using this a England and of Cleves and I'm gonna go just paint right over the top as you can see I've already got my other nails done because you know this this video would be forever long if I showed y'all every single nail, every step, especially when I'm layering it up like this. Of course, I do like the striped nails all on them own. All on them own, y'all. I like them, but I'm going to do my traditional, you know, jack-o'-lantern nails. I've done a video every year. The first year was orange, and I think last year was blue. So this year we're pinking it. And here we go. We're going to remove those with our little handy tweezers. You do want to remove vinyls just as quickly as you can and work on one nail at a time. Because if you don't and that polish starts drying, it could really mess up your crisp lines. I'm going to go in with some acetone and my cleanup brush and just do a little bit of cleaning up here. Just a little bit. It's not too bad. I'm more concerned about getting that polish on there and getting them vinyls off than, you know, staying neat. I'm going to top it with the Super Chick Lacquer, and it's the um, Marvel Liquid Macro Top Coat. This is a beautiful top coat, and, you know, price wasn't an issue. It might be my favorite, <laughs> but, um, and also, I would have to get it in a great big jug, you know, because I like having endless supply of top coat. But I always use this when I use her polishes. I did use that other one earlier, but to make the hollow just really shine, I really like using hers. It just works perfectly. I'll be using BMS204 and the Nicole Diary NSO2, my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper, and my Beauty Big Bang Scraper. And I mean, I love this little plate with all the different jack o' lantern faces. This is just too cute. And I'm, I just put a different one on each nail. I just think mix and matching them is just so much fun. So, here we go. This one with the little fangs is just ridiculous. I love it. And here we go with some of the Pro FX Sticky Base. Um, I, you know, sometimes they don't want to stick so good because I'm fiddling, so I do like to do that trick sometimes when I remember. And this is your typical jack-o'-lantern face, and I, I really like this image too. I mean, you could do them all one image, or you could do it any way you want to because it's your manicure. There we go. Got it all cleaned up. And ta-da! I love this. It's so much fun going to do another image. I love picking all the different images and there's so many, you know, you can you can just mix and match and just go crazy. If you're doing all 10 nails in the same kind of design, you could just 
he, he could have a different one for every finger and still have leftover ones to use. You guys know I like me some pink polish, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I just knew it was a matter of time before I was going to do, you know, this manicure my previous years. I knew this one was coming. I wonder what color we'll do next year. Who knows? And I like this one too. It's like it got the scarecrow looking mouth. All the I just love it. I think it's just too cute. So we got to clean that plate off with some acetone real quick because I kind of got some on the image I want to use. I need oh we're going to use our leftover polish. Look at us being so you know, resourceful and recycling. It's such a good thing. So I do go around picking up the extra image because I don't want to be cleaning that up or getting it on the nail where I don't want it. But I needed a tiny image for this pinky nail. So there we go. Cutesy cutesy. I'm going to top it with the smudge free top coat from Bundle Monster, which is now Maniology. I am working on that, but my stuff's labeled Bundle Monster, so that's very possible that I'm going to do videos and call it just that and, and not even mention the maniology thing. So I do apologize. And then we're going to top it with some of the Super Chick Marble Liquid Macro Top Coat. It's just, it's just a lovely top coat. I think she's changed her brushes a little bit though. I think the brush part of it's a little bit longer now. There we go. Aren't they cute? I love them. Here's my swatch photo. I would love to hear what you think about this manicure. Leave me a comment down below telling me your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.